Hi friends, it's Mari Clark. Today I'm participating in the Honey Bee Stamps Love Letters YouTube video hop and I'm going to be creating this A2 size card here that you can see on the screen. I have created this card uh, previously and I'm going to duplicate the card today with a few changes and I'm going to be using all of the same products I used to create that first card including the lovely Layers Heart Vine dies. This is such a fun die set. I absolutely love it. The set comes with two dies that layer one on top of the other. I'm also going to be using the pretty postage stamps and dies. Um, so the stamp set has a coordinating die set that's sold separately, cuts out all of the sentiments that are part of that stamp set. I'm also going to be using the quilted cover plate, which I absolutely love. There's so many ways that you can use this. And I'm going to start off here with some Nina 80 pound solar white cardstock in my mini Misty. I'm going to stamp out the main image with the pretty postage stamps set. I'm going to stamp that out with some black VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink, which is just a really nice crisp ink for stamping. And I'm just going to go ahead and treat my paper also with my anti-static powder pouch because I do want to do a little bit of heat embossing with this image. So the great thing about that Nocturne ink from VersaFine Claire is that it is a slow drying ink. So I'm just going to apply some clear embossing powder over the image. And then using my WOW heat tool, I'm going to melt that um, embossing powder. Now I'm going to be using the Spectrum Noir Tri-Blend uh, markers today. These are alcohol ink markers that are super cool because each marker comes with three different colors, the lightest, the medium color, and the darkest color for blending together, and they work so well. These ones I'm using here are the uh, bullet point markers. You can also get these markers in a brush tip as well. Super, super easy to color uh, these images with these markers. And I wanted to use a little bit of a brighter uh, pink for this second card that I'm making. The first card that I showed you there, the finished one at the beginning, I used uh, kind of a more of a coral pink color to color it. And today I just wanted to change up the colors a little bit and show you with these uh, markers here. But you can just see how great it is that you've got those three different shades of that same color in one marker. It just makes it super, super easy. Now I am taking a Copic C1 uh, marker and I'm going to color in that envelope behind the florals and the foliage here for this uh, stamp set. I just wanted kind of a like a muted color to show some depth with that envelope but nothing too crazy so it's just some really really basic coloring there. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut out this image with the coordinating die and now I'm ready to add some details. I'm using some Wink of Stella in clear just to add some sparkle and shine to the pink areas only and now I'm using a white gel pen to add some polka dots to that gray ink. This is really really subtle. You can't see it um, super Super, super well but you can see it it's it's there I don't know how well you can see it on camera but I just wanted it to be subtle to add a little bit more detail to that envelope I'm also going to use that white gel pen to add some highlights to some of the other areas of the flowers and the leaves and this is just to create a little bit more interest on the different little pieces I just like how that looks and just a little tip always make sure you use your gel pen after the wink of Stella because the wink of Stella will actually actually reactivate the gel ink from your pen. Now I am going to take some foam adhesive squares and add those to the back of the pretty of the pretty postage stamp um, that I have now cut out with my die. I'm going to go ahead and add that onto a piece of Nina cardstock that I have cut out using that quilted cover plate. I have cut the uh, Heart Vines dies using some two different colors of cardstock. The darker pink is basically the same color as the pink marker that I used to color the florals. And then this lighter pink is going to layer over top of the darker. And this lighter pink is the same color of cardstock as my card base that I'm going to be using for my card. So I just applied a little bit of the Honey Bee Stamps uh, glue from the glue tube to the back of that more intricate layer of the die. And now I'm going to go ahead and apply that more intricate die cut over top of that darker pink. And I just like how the two different colors of cardstock really make the layering, uh, you know, obviously 
uh, stand out quite a bit more. And I'm now going to just go ahead and snip this in half so that I can use this for an embellishment behind my envelope. So I'm going to go ahead and glue these little pieces in behind the envelope there just so that they add a little bit of detail and interest to the card. And uh, I just really like the detail that that adds. It just adds some more texture and interest and detail to the card. So I'm loving how that's looking. And I'm just going to show you here how I'm going to stick this onto a uh, nice light pink card base and I'm going to use my foam adhesive to put that down onto my card base so that it just gives the card a little bit more dimension. If you are mailing this and you're concerned about it being too thick you may want to just put that on without that foam adhesive. Now I'm going to stamp out a sentiment from the pretty postage set. This one is going to say missing you and I'm going to use the die which is genius. I love that these sentiments have dies, coordinating dies, so that it makes it really easy to cut these out. I'm going to use some little glue dots to adhere the sentiments to my card. This card says missing you, obviously. I'm sure you saw that sentiment. Um, the first card that I made says, um, hmm, I don't remember. I think, uh, love you or something like that love enclosed I think actually is what the the first one said I don't have the card in front of me but I'm just going to go ahead and use a bunch of different glue dots to add this sentiment to the front of the card I like how the glue dots just add a little bit of dimension but you know obviously are super super sticky I won't have to worry about that falling off of there I'm taking some diamond stickles now and I'm adding those all over my, the little petals of my flowers and different areas on my card front um, if you follow me at all here on Honeybee, you know that I really love my stickles. I just like how it just adds some really super uh, pretty glittery shine to a card. And I'm never afraid to add a little bit of glitter and shine to a card. I just love how it looks. And this is going to be the finishing touch for that card. Now I'm also going to show you, I, I'm just showing you there how nice and shiny that is. And I love how the heat embossing on the black images there just looks really nice. Now I'm also going to be using the hugs and clothes stamp set to create my envelope or some detail on my envelope. This is just an A2 size envelope here that matches up really nicely with the pinks in the uh, card. And I wanted to use the big Happy Mail stamp on my envelope here. I'm going to put that envelope into my Mini Misty and I'm going to apply some white ink this is just some white pigment ink here to the envelope i am going to heat emboss so i'm going to use my little embossing bag there to add some anti-static powder to the envelope so that my embossing powder only sticks to the ink and not the paper where there isn't ink so i'm going to go ahead and ink up that uh, sentiment with that white ink and now i'm just going to add some nouveau embossing powder this is the nouveau fine detailed embossing powder in glacier white I'm adding that over top of the stamped image here with my Nouveau uh, spoon and just going to tap off the excess and go ahead and melt that with my heat tool. I didn't show you the melting process just because it's, you know, just melting the, the heat, uh, embossing powder. Now I wanted to also take a couple of the stamps from the Hugs and Clothes stamp set. Actually, I'm using three stamps on the back of my card and this is really cool. Um, this is going to actually stamp out, I made this just for you with that that little envelope in between. I think that's just super, super cute and a neat way to finish off a card. Now I'm just gonna show you the finished card here again. I'm just gonna show you how the black, um, how the black lines of the flowers in the envelope and that are, are all nicely embossed and really shiny. And I finished off that back area there with some pink ink and a little bit of um, gloss uh, glue. And I'm also showing you here how the embossing looks on that envelope. So I am going to link up to all of the different products that I used today to create this card. So make sure you check out the description box below. I'm just going to sh compare here and show you the two different cards, how I made a few changes when I made the second card. The second A2 card is a true A2 size card size. The first card on the left is a little bit bigger. And I'm just going to show you how the card that I made today fits nicely into my A2 size envelope here. I'm just going to show 
you how it's sliding in there. Everything's dry now. I did let that uh, everything dry, all the stickles and the gloss glue and everything's all nice and dry. And my card is ready to be mailed. It's not even all that thick. Thanks so much, guys, for stopping by today. And make sure you check out all of the other YouTube videos in the hop today as part of the Love Letters release. Have an amazing day and I'll see you again. Bye-bye.